put Shaq on my team, put LeBron and Bosh with me, I'm not going to win one? You don't think? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. You, you yeah. Put, yeah. You got your shit on. You put that's me, not, LeBron, and Bosh. Yeah. Me, not LeBron, and, and Bosh. We can't get, we not going to win one? Yeah. Are we not going to win a couple? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so, so I'm too. saying, that's though. That's true. That's true. So I'm saying, though, like, right. like who's the better three-point shooter? Yeah. Sure. That's yeah. A, yeah. Like, yeah. Is he is he a better scorer? Does, is he a better scorer? Okay, he averaged more points than me career. I can shoot the three. He's a the better slasher. I can post up. I can get to the line. Who a better score? So you know what it is? And I no, I'm I'm totally yeah, you, no. it's just he was fancier. Yeah, no, no, yeah it was just that's he was fancier. No, what I'm gonna say Let's is break it down. No, well, I was about to I was about to give you a props, but I said this because what happened is this. This is a good topic. A hundred percent good topic because Wade was better two way though. What happened is that Dwayne Wade is flashy. He right. slashes everything. And what I seen was Doc Rivers say something about you one time. And it was like preseason when y'all practice and do other things. He's like, these young boys come in there and think Paul is slow, think he can't jump, think he's not athletic. And his skill set is so amazing, pause, that he kills them before the season even starts. And they think they're going to come in there and do that. So... Dwayne Wade looks more fancy. He dunks, he jumps around, but or you flash. have a great, yeah, but you have a great skill set. And I'll give you that. And what you made was great points. If you had Shaq for a year, you may win a championship. If you got Boston LeBron, definitely you don't want to come. Like, come on. Right. So, come on now. Whatever quite makes so, you so, gonna say so, something murder. Yeah, and, and I, was, I don't want this to be a knock verse way. No, Wade no, no it's not. Greatest, it's not a knock verse. But I'm just way. saying, like, I think we in the bottom shop. For yeah, a long we, time, we got for a long time, my skills went. Unappreciated because I didn't get to play with a lot of great players. Yeah, and then I got to play with KG and Ray past their prime. Okay, if four years earlier you put me, Ray, and KG together, you think we ain't walking away with three chips? Right. That's real. <laughs> All right. So, so yeah, Antoine, it's a lot to unpack there, but I mean, there's no better person that could really answer this question because you 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 played, if I'm not mistaken, five years with with Paul Pierce, played two years with yeah. Dwayne Wade, right? Yeah, two and uh, yeah, three with so, D-Way. So, I mean, again, there's a couple, a whole bunch of questions I could ask you, but but who, from your perspective, who better, man? Who got it? Because because Paul Pierce, you know, he 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 he's confident that Ooh, that he got the edge. He got the edge over over D Way in a, in a number of categories. Well, I think one thing we have to realize, and, I, and I'm not, Paul is tough, man, I, and I, I feel for Paul because he doesn't get his just do as one of the elite great small forwards to ever play the game. That's And that's true. And I think he feels that sometimes. Um, but top to bottom, um, it's a tough one for me because obviously I love D-Wade. I'm, I'm actually attending um, D-Wade's Hall of Fame thing here tonight in Chicago. Mm -hmm. He's doing something tonight about his Hall of Fame introduction. Um, but Paul's tough, man. I, I know people don't want to, you know, talk about it. And D-Wade is, is a little different in the sense that, you know, he's won three titles. Um and I would say to the perception, the public perception, you know, D Wade is probably more liked than Paul, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If I'm making any sense with that. Yeah. But just me being a basketball guy, a true basketball guy, um, top to bottom skill set for skill set, I'm going to give a slight edge uh, to D Wade because he's probably a better yeah. ball handler, okay. um, even though it makes better, make more plays. But everything else, um, I mean, you can go it's checklist off. Paul's a better three point shooter. Yeah. Um, you know, they both get to the free yeah, throw line very well. D Wade's more athletic. Obviously, finish sets the basket a lot better. So it's 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 so close. If we was doing a checklist here, you know, D Wade may edge him maybe by it's one. It's not close. <laughs> Who is this guy that we're sitting with? No, I'm, I'm giving Bro, you. The truth. I, I, I think no. I think he ain't give me the listen, truth. Listen, you <laughs> underestimate. I don't want you guys to underestimate. How good Paul We're Pierce doing is. That. You are you well, you get, to, I said we should give him a checklist, right? To, Let's do it. But you don't have to you don't have to big up Paul so much, the truth so much, just because you want people to understand, you know what I'm saying, well, how think, how yeah, real he was. He I, was I, the I, truth. But the reality read, is it's not read, close. You can't say you're gonna give a slight are, edge to listen, uh, you Paul? and Corey, both both of you guys have been in locker rooms. Both of you guys have played with great players. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I know work ethic, I see it every day. I see it in practice. It is very close. I'm telling you this. Paul Pierce is with the, the name he gave. Me, he is the truth. He is the <laughs> real deal. But Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade is 
it's it's the truth too. Yeah, right. But, yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I, I know there. I know there. I know there. I know there be beef in Chicago, but like I felt like the especially in sports, Chicago dudes usually stay together. And the whole wide world going against Pat Beverly, and you find a way to make sure you stand up for Pat Beverly. The whole world going against <laughs> Anthony Davis, and you find a way to still say something positive about Anthony Davis, and then you come out here. Because you play a couple more years uh, with Paul Pierce, you gonna say I'm gonna get the slight edge. Come on, man, I'm, flash. All I'm, B, all I'm gonna say this: uh, it's closer than what you guys think. Uh well, look. look I, hey, here's what I would say. He said a lot. He said a lot. Uh, Corey, this he is did. this is what I would say. It was a dope segment. Okay. Um, first off, there, there there's more to it. Okay. Uh, you had UD uh, chime in on this conversation where he said, "Man, these dudes get on." And, and first, let me say this to everybody out there. Paul Pierce is the truth. And, and, and Twan, mm -hmm. we do need to listen to Twan when he talks about it. You know, it, it, it's close. It ain't like this big, it, it ain't like this huge gap. Now, is it like slight edge? Do I agree with, you know, the, the, the commentary there? Do I, do I agree with Antoine's uh, 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 choice of words there? I don't. I think he's making it too friendly. But the truth is the truth. That's why he got the name, okay? Um, and he's a friend of the show. Like he's always blessed us. And, and and I love hearing him. That's what I was actually going to say to you is like, when you think about basketball dudes that come out and, 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 and keep it real, that's willing to talk about LeBron, that's willing to even uh, knock uh, MJ and keep it real. I think about Gilbert Arenas. I think about Paul Pierce. I think about Antoine Walker, Mr. Shimmy himself here. That's why I'm so distraught for, for how friendly he's been. I don't know what's happening, <laughs> what's going on in his world, but he's super friendly now. I, and, really? and I don't get it, not, but I will I'm say this though, like, go ahead, go ahead. So, no, so, go ahead. so, so UD comes out and says like, guys come out and, and they jump on these podcasts and they get diarrhea of the mouth. And I do agree with that. Right. Because what's happening in this space now is we all have podcasts and we want to support our brothers and we want to come on and do a great job. And it's really lax, right? Like the traditional route, all these other ABCs, NBCs, ESPNs, you go up there, you're wearing suit and ties, and you're really buttoned up. And so it's a different type of conversation. It's a different space. When you jump on these podcasts, some people smoking, some people drinking, you know what I mean? You're sitting around with your brothers. That's why it's so good because it's just real conversation. So I feel like Paul was in a very lax situation and he said too much. Okay, and then he came out and he backtracked a little bit and he tried to clarify some of his comments, right? Like, yo, like I'm not knocking the way and I'm not even trying to, you know, compare is really like that. But I was asked the question and this is how I responded to it. But when you look at the careers, because another thing that he said, Tuan, that we, we didn't really dive into right now was like, yo, you give me, you know, the players that he had. And, and, and you don't think I would have more championships? So like Shaquille O'Neal was one of the people that he mentioned right okay uh shaquille o'neal shaquille o'neal i would go out there and say this well you were on that team right he was yes I, I, am i wrong to go out there and say this bro that shaquille o'neal was not in his prime anymore we're talking about year 13 and shaq went from you know at, at the promised career he averaged in 27 28 points and now when he was with y'all he averaged in 21 22 uh 20 points a game now was he still dominant yeah but i mean he wasn't in his prime like D Wade did his thing. No, no, he was not in his prime. And you gotta talk about you talking about a young D Wade. Um, and I played D Wade had one of the most exciting finals that we've seen from an individual. I think he averaged 35, 36. We can fact check that and make sure I'm right. But it's he averaged like thir between 34 and 36 a night in the finals. Um, and he was uh, unbelievable. So Right. I speak from that that side of it and watching him perform and, and being with a young D Wade and, and, and carry us. You know what I mean? Be playing three years with him. I watched him carry us. I watched him do his, his work. I watched how what type of player he was. But I also played with Paul. See, that's the unique advantage that I have over a lot of people that sitting here talking and just watching two different jerseys. I watched Paul. I watched how Paul carried us. He I stood down when Paul came in. I knew he was a better scorer than me. I knew he can get to the free throw line. I knew he knew how to, his mid-range game was better than mine. I stood down and allowed him to be the the leading scorer and, and be – I was the the B. We always say he was option A, I was option B. And I had no problem with that because that's what his skill set was. I think sometimes we – people like D, D. Wade also has a better – and this is why these conversations get a lot real tricky. Sometimes people like guys off the court, and that makes you say, well, he's better. I'm talking about grit, basketball, getting the gym, and 
it's really close. I'm just speaking from basketball and, and getting in the gym and playing and knowing the game, just like you guys know. You guys know some guys that's you in football and you being a receiver, you like, man, he's nice, but maybe he may have a better his he may have a better offensive line or a better quarterback than you got. All those things factor when you talk about that. But I know basketball itself, they're very close. Okay. All right, so let's do this real quick before we move on. Mm-hmm. Do you let's remember Paul NBA? Pitch? Remember Paul Pierce in the Eastern Conference Finals against LeBron James going neck to neck? Oh, the truth. The truth. Yeah, like you said, the truth. The truth. I love neck. those matchups. Not only that, not only okay. that, but even and when he used to guard this- Kobe Bryant. Okay, then, so let's not discredit that. Like, you gotta- okay, okay, so, okay, so let me ask you this. He showed up in the Look, big moments. Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let's take the NBA out of it. Let's take the championships out of it. Let's take the commentary out of it, okay? Let's meet in... Give me your most legendary park in, 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 in the country. Where do you want to hoop? You want to go to Rutgers or someplace in Chicago? I don't know if there's a place in Cali. Like, where, where, where are we going? I'm all with that New York talk with me, man. I'm from South South. All right, give me, all right give, me, give, me, give, me a, give, give me a gym. Give me a park where we, we going to meet. We can meet. We can take it back to the legendary Hoops gym when MJ came back. That was some of the best runs. Ooh, that hoops. I, I think Hoops started in – I feel like Hoops started in Atlanta, uh, Paul. Remember Hoops? Uh, running, no. run and shoot. <laughs> Them twenty four hour gyms, those runs was crazy. Yeah. Oh I can, but I can take, I can take it to the hood where we all play it before hoop style. We played the Leclerc courts. That's just, that's in Chicago. Okay, that's yeah. where I want to go. That's where I want to go. So let's take all the commentary, let's take all the NBA stats and all of that analysis out of it. Let's go right where you just said. Okay, you got D Wade and you got the truth. So you got Flash and you got the truth. We got three games to eleven, one on one. Tell me how this goes. Mm. So this is getting to it. This is getting to it now. One on one. I think Paul. I think Paul beats him. So he's the better guy then. So if that's the truth, then he is the the better guy. No, No, I think Paul beats him in a one on one. I think Paul can post. I think mid (laughs) range. It's just one on one. He's going to kill him in the post. And playing playing the team concept. Totally different. Totally. Oh my I can hey, I can see Paul Pierce team, beating Dwayne Wade in one on one. Hey, listen, I'm not waiting to the uh, the post production meeting. See, Twan, uh, you be gone. You be on the boat somewhere already, enjoying y'all 25 <laughs> days of summer, y'all 25 yeah. great days in Chicago. Not saying the other days is is not bad. See, we ain't even get there. Like I do believe in all seasons. I'm a t- type of guy. I embrace the winter in Chicago. But when we get into these uh, post production meetings, you're already on your boat. You're uh, joining Lake that's, that's, Michigan. That's, all right, but my, that Antoine Walker said that uh, 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 Paul Pierce beats Dwayne Wade one on one. Yeah, I think if you're playing one on one, I think he probably beats him one on one. He beats him. And when I just think about if you're talking about Paul, he's going to be able to post him up a little bit. Uh, yeah, use his size. You know, Dwayne like 6'3, Paul like 6'7, six, 6'8. Six, Paul ain't no six seven six eight. Stop it, Paul. Paul, no, y'all Paul basketball. Like six, six, Why y'all do that? Let's talk about that real quick. Why y'all do that in basketball? On paper, y'all seven, oh. y'all seven feet. But when you when you see him in person, they really six eight. Paul Pierce ain't no six seven well, you six know, eight. Stop the pants, it. You know it's too it's too high. You get at the combine. Shoes off, shoes on. Yeah, uh, that, that was <laughs> safe to say. That was his shoes on height, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> shoes off, shoes on. You get too oh, my. <laughs> You get two different heights, bro. No, you get two different heights. I was six ten with shoes on. Uh, see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. But I'm, right. but I'm, I'm legit. Like, yeah. I'm six and uh-huh. a half, like probably, but I'm six ten with my shoes on. Yeah, get him, get himself a three inch height difference <laughs> on, 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 the, on, the, right. on the roster. But I, I, honestly, I was, it's a great conversation. Those two guys, but it's, it's really hard because they play two different positions. Mm-hmm. They really do. The way is a pure two guard. And Paul Pierce is a, a, a true yeah. small forward. Yeah, small so forward. It's, it is, it, that's two different positions, but I hate when people try to downplay how good Paul Pierce really is. That's all I'm right, saying. Right. D Wade is yeah. great. I'm going tonight to, to celebrate my brother getting into the Hall of Fame. I'm so excited for him. He deserves it. Paul, Paul deserves to be yeah. in the Hall of Fame. I think they're two different positions. I think, obviously, <laughs> Paul, you like that. You want to put a pause moment on that, huh? That, that's why he's smiling <laughs> like that. <huh? laughs> now, now you're going into the, 
Hey, man, we're not going to turn paper route into pauses. Yeah. <laughs> we're okay, we're not going to do, do it. We're we not going to turn the paper route into pauses. We're not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to keep it. Okay, we're going to keep we gonna keep it high level. Uh, we're going to keep it high level. Yo, listen, I'm gonna, but I will say this. I'm going to make it real uncomfortable for you tonight. See, that's what I'm talking about. You went against your Chicago brother. you talking about you're going to go celebrate D-Wade tonight. Uh, oh, yeah. So what we need to do is please get this clip out within 45 <laughs> minutes because – I want when he walks into D Wade's <laughs> Hall of Fame ceremony party, whatever this is, for everybody to just look at him like, er? <laughs> like oh, bro, you just said That's how you, feel. <laughs> you rocking with the truth. You no, can't no, be in no, this no. room right now. Yeah. Man, D Wade go way back, man. We want to chip together. We from the chi- we from the shy, man. This this it's everything is already we already locked tight, what man. Is, you can't break the Chicago. What break. is it, a dinner? Yeah. Is it in Chicago? Uh, is there a dinner? What's it's happening? A, no, it's an honor him making the Hall of Fame. It's a um, okay. like a party dinner. It's not even dinner. It's more or less like a party celebrating. I think he's got oh, some other stuff. That's gonna be dope. Yeah, I think he's got some other stuff going on this week. But um, I'm looking forward to going out and just telling him congratulations. I mean, I was obviously play with him, and this is the highest honor, man. You know, you know that when guys make the Hall of Fame, we got so much Hall of, so much respect for them and they, the work they put it's in. A big deal. So, so yeah, it's a huge deal. So I'm I'm, I'm happy to see him tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute to to Flash, man, and, and the truth. We can move on now. 